Allow me to introduce the real Pilaf gang. As the constructs you all know. The Pilaf gang is as follows in reality. May. My nursery. It's pretty obvious. As you can see here. There is the Soviet symbol. And the dark colored trench coat that's military like, which is nice yet functional. These are real things to a Soviet pioneer. But this is my nursery. And then there is a completely different group. And that is Cobra, the next generation. This was from a time when I, as Cobra commander, Roku's son, then, after, wanted to try to, when making the world a better place, also figure out what people were capable of as human beings. And to make them better than they actually were currently. Or at least figure out how to get them to their best potential. This is Shu. This is Shu. This is my nursery. The real Cobra Commander turned himself into a weird little man-child. He was after with a little white cape. Notice that he has a hat which has two different opposing functions and a Soviet star. This indicates that Cobra Commander had multiple associations. As I had mentioned, as I explained, which I had to put here in the picture to explain this properly is, and forgive me for repeating myself, but this has multiple meanings, so I have to re-explain it differently now, pointing out the same thing. The real Cobra Commander turned himself into a weird little man-child. So he's depicted as a weird little insolent man-child, and he was after Goku's son and his Dragon Ball that his grandfather left him. As in, Cobra Commander that turned himself into the weird little man-child, then sought the treasure 
which he himself had introduced to the world. And that is how I know the secret of the Dragon Balls. The real ones. For which the story of Dragon Ball and the mystical adventure is all about. Let me go back to Cobra, the next generation. Shu, briefly. Shu is depicted as a ninja with big ears because Cobra is depicted as a thief organization. But this is not, in fact, true, as trickery and deception require wisdom. And the capabilities of the cunning fox depicted as an actual observance, what the cunning fox actually did, as Cobra actually did, to the Japanese wizard all those years ago. And while ninjas are depicted as thieves, this particular ninja was not depicted as a thief because they could not steal what already belonged to them. As you know, Shu was always with Mei, and Mei was always with Cobra Commander. And Cobra Commander enhanced Cobra the Next Generation to become better so they did not need to steal, but still had the skills and alertness with those big ears to know about thieves. And that is the secret behind this ninja imagery and the teachings of Cobra Commander as Goku's son. This also has to do with Cobra's developed mind transference. This is the, the final way I explain to you, leading to a better understanding of what I mean when I say that Cobra Commander turned himself into into a weird little man child. As you know, Cobra Commander, or Emperor Pilaf, captured Goku and turned him into a giant rage monster. Or vice versa. It really doesn't matter as before Cobra Commander or Emperor Pila captured me, Goku, as it was shown in the story by the Japanese wizard. In actuality, that wasn't exactly the case. Everyone of these different sides was obsessed with Goku's son for reasons that never existed yet. And 
then later on, once I, Goku's son, had the information that Cobra Commander, or Emperor Pilaf, once had, then the competition essentially ended in this regard. And then the search was postponed and then would begin again at a later date for the Dragon Balls. And this was to bring back what you will find from Prince Vegeta about Dragon Ball Z, an enhanced rendition by Japanese Wizard 2.0, The Apprentice, to Dragon Ball Z, that included and incorporated new things they had discovered since the original Dragon Ball, where the Pilaf gang was included. But over the years, these different renditions incorporating new elements and new stories of my Dragon Ball old friends and their associates, some never disappear because they were original plot elements to the real story that is happening finally now to you in Japan and the rest of the world, the mystical adventure as the characters you will discover from all these years ago are very real, including who we call May, the help, the May help, which is my nursery, as in my Soviet pioneer nursery. That is the person that is before you. And there are many, but this one is mine. This particular one, depicted in the Japanese wizard, true friend, though unknown, to me, the real Goku. And remember, as I am what this was all about, I can tell you, knowing the wisdom bestowed upon me from the original Cobra Commander, as well as people from both of these different groups, that although they are depicted and are were Soviets, these people in real life are not soldiers and violent and thieves. Some were for those that were trained with those functions. Others, such as myself, were trained to do different kinds of things, such as track down nuclear weapons and figure out where they are and remember them to this day, as well as to kill enemy spies, as well as to protect my nursery and help those as family by tending to those who cannot care for themselves and that's because they are of 
a certain likeness that no longer exists and is unique in the world. And so, I do all of these things in one quick swoop. Get rid of the old problems, take care of my nursery, and I will move on with a special message to my nursery. But for those of you over in Japan, you don't know. Yes, they are all real. And the essence of the Cobra Commander, with Cobra's mind transference technology, does exist. And can be brought back when the technology is refined in the coming years. But I will still be here knowing all that he knew. Interesting concept. Very useful for space colonization. 